Today, we'll be investigating the law of conservation of mass. The law of conservation of mass states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. So in the most simplest of terms, the mass of the products is equal to the mass of the reactant. So, if we add two grams of magnesium to one gram of oxygen, that is our reactant, the law of conservation of mass says we should make three grams of magnesium oxide. Now this is the experiment we will be doing today. We'll be using solid magnesium metal and adding oxygen through it by the process of combustion to make magnesium oxide. Now, magnesium oxidizes in the air to form black layer of magnesium oxide on the metal that you can see here. The part that's dull is magnesium oxide. So I've used emery paper to shine this magnesium to make it very lustrous. That's the scientific word for shiny. So that it has no oxide on it at all. Now, this time I will be putting it over a Bunsen burner to add oxygen from the air to create magnesium oxide. My first step will be to determine the mass of my crucible along with the magnesium and its lid. So I put the magnesium in my crucible, put the lid, now we'll place this on my scale to determine its mass. The mass is 21. 0.15 grams. Where it says crucible with lead and magnesium, I will write 21.15 grams. Now I'll just remove the magnesium to find the mass of the empty crucible with the lid, which is exactly 20.99 grams. Now, subtracting the mass of the crucible with the lead and magnesium from the empty crucible, so taking 21.15 minus 20.99 gives me 0 0.16 grams for the magnesium. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll place the magnesium back into the crucible, put the lid on, and using tongs, I will place this over my setup. So for my setup for this experiment, we have a heat proof mat with a Bunsen burner, a tripod, and a pipe clay triangle. This is to hold our crucible. Now as that is very hot, since the Bunsen burner is on, I'll be using the tongs to place the crucible into the pipe clay triangle and then using the tongs to put the lid on as well. Now since this magnesium is reacting with oxygen from the air, it is important that I regularly remove the lid to let some oxygen inside. Now I must be careful while removing the lid as I don't want any of the magnesium oxide to come flying out. So while I'm removing the lid to let in a small amount of oxygen and placing it back. It's important we do this about every 30 seconds so that the magnesium has sufficient oxygen to react. It has now been about 30 minutes and we can see the magnesium looks quite different. That's because magnesium oxide has begun to form. So magnesium is chemically combined with the oxygen from the air. As the magnesium oxide has formed, the reaction is now complete. So I can turn off my Bunsen burner and remove the crucible from the heat. It's important I use tongs as to not burn myself. Once this magnesium oxide is cooled, I can then weigh it using the weighing scale. My crucible is now cooled, so I will place my crucible with the magnesium oxide ins inside onto the weighing scale. We can see that the mass is now 21.24 grams. So 
21.24 grams. Now, the original math is only 21.15. So if we take the mass of the empty crucible with the lid and take the crucible with the lid and magnesium oxide, so that will be 21.24 grams, take away 20.99, this will give us exactly 0 0.25 grams. So we can see that the mass has increased. Now, where did this extra mass come from? Well, the magnesium weighed 0 0.16 grams, and that means it combined with exactly 0 0.09 grams of oxygen to make 0 0.2 gram, 25 grams of magnesium oxide. So going back to our reaction, I gave you an example earlier where we have magnesium reacting with oxygen to make magnesium oxide. But in this case, we had 0 0.16 grams of magnesium reacting with 0 0.09 grams of oxygen to make 0 0.25 grams of magnesium oxide.